Okay, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another lesson on creating selections in Adobe Photoshop CS4 in this case and today we're going to talk about anti-aliasing and what anti-aliasing is is it's Photoshop's way of partially selecting pixels to create the illusion of a smooth edge and we're going to demonstrate that here with this image, which is from the lesson on the pen tool, if you remember. Uh, why don't you go ahead, when you have a chance, download antialias1.psd, and that'll allow you to follow along. But first, what I'd like to do is to start a new document. So let's go to the File menu, click on New, and I'm just going to make it 10 by 10 with a resolution of 72. I'm not going to name it. I'm just going to say OK. Now I want you to make sure your default colors are selected here. So if they're not, hit D on the keyboard and that'll set the foreground color to black and the background color to white. And then I want you to fill the entire image right now, the background layer, with black. And to do that, hit Alt backspace on your keyboard. This is going to help me demonstrate anti-aliasing. Now, there's only certain tools that allow you to use anti-aliasing, and they are the elliptical marquee tool, all of the lasso tools, and finally the magic wand tool. Okay, you can see anti-alias checkbox right here, and we're going to demonstrate it like I said. Let's get the elliptical marquee tool, folks, and go ahead and draw a selection about like that. Now I want to fill this selection with white. To do that, I'm going to hold down the control key and hit backspace on the keyboard. Now what I want to do is create another selection, and this time I'm going to anti-alias the selection. So I'm going to click on anti-alias, and this checkbox must be checked before you make your selection. Okay? So this one was not anti-aliased. This next one I draw will be anti-aliased. Next, I want you to make sure that this little icon is highlighted, so we're going to add to the selection. See the little plus mark there? And we're going to go ahead and draw same thing again. And we're going to fill it with white again, so hit Control Backspace. And here we have two selections, one aliased, one anti-aliased. Let's save the selection, just in case we want to look at it again. And to do that, go to the Select menu and click on Save Selection. And we're going to name it Demo. Click on OK. Now let's deselect by hitting Control D on the keyboard. And you can see right away the difference. You'll see it easier if I go to 100%. So to do that, hit Control 1 on your keyboard. And that'll give you 100% view size here. And now you can easily see the difference. This nice smooth edge created with the anti alias checkbox checked and this non-anti-aliased selection up here. Big difference, folks. And what's happening here, let me zoom in, and to do that, I want you to hold down the control key on the keyboard and simultaneously hold down the space bar. That's going to give you the zoom tool. And then I want you to marquee right in this area right here, and then release, and that's going to zoom us in. You can take a look at both selections right here. On the bottom, we've got the anti-alias selection. On the top, we have the aliased selection. You can see the stair-stepping that's occurring here in this ellipse that we drew, okay? So what does that mean? A pixel here is either fully selected or fully not selected. Whereas down here, Photoshop is partially selecting the pixels, okay, to give you that smooth edge. And you can see what's, what's happening right here. It's partially selecting these pixels. Let me get the eyedropper tool and I'll show you exactly how it's working. I've got the, the uh, grayscale ramp up here. If you don't have it, just go ahead and uh, select it right here, grayscale slider. And I'm going to click in the white area here. And you can see now I have 0% black. Okay, so that represents 100% selection. Out here, if I click, I have 100% black. Okay, that represents 100% not selected. And you can see these pixels, right? They begin with zero and they go up the grayscale ramp all the way, partially selected. This represents transparency, folks, all the way up until they're 100% selected right there.
hit control one on your keyboard to go to 100% view size and there you have it folks that's how anti-alias works what's the practical application let me go back to this document right here anti-alias 1.psd and we're going to demonstrate it now you might remember this Toyota Prius here from the lesson on the pen tool what I did back then if you remember is I saved that path that I drew with the pen tool and here it is right here go ahead and click on it and you'll see that vector based path now okay we're gonna turn that into a selection we're gonna turn it into two selections actually one will be aliased one will be anti-aliased and we'll show you the difference okay so go to this flyout menu right here and choose make selection and the first one we are going to leave alias, so do not check this checkbox here. Click on OK. And as you can see, it selected not the Prius, but everything but the Prius. To change that, let's go and hit uh, Control, Shift, and I on your keyboard for invert. That's going to invert the selection. Now we have just the Toyota Prius selected. Let's go to the Layers palette. All right. Now what I want to do is jump that selection to its own layer. Okay, so hit Control J, and we're going to call this aliased. All right, now we're going to make another one. Okay, select the background layer again. Let's go to the Paths palette. Click on that. Let's make another selection. And this one, we're going to anti-alias. Say OK. Once again, same drill. It selected everything but the Prius. Hit Control Shift I to invert that selection. Let's go to the Layers palette and let's jump this to its own layer by hitting Control J. And this one, we're going to call Anti Alias. All right. Now we'll take a look at the difference here. To make it easy, I'm going to create a back, a black background layer folks and to do that um, we're going to create a new layer and to create a new layer under the layer you have selected hold down the control key on the keyboard and click right here and now we have a new layer we're going to fill that with black and to do that with black as our foreground color hold down the alt key hit the backspace key and now we have the uh, Toyota Prius on a black background. Let's take a look at the anti, no, let's take a look at the alias selection first and you can see the jagged edges already. Let's go into 100% view size by hitting control 1 on the keyboard and there's 100% view size and on this black background it's very easy to see the jagged edge created by not using the anti-alias feature in Photoshop and it's all around the car here very easy to see. Let's turn that off and turn on the anti-alias and you can see the nice smooth edge we get. Okay, Much, much better. There's almost no time that I can think of when you would not want to use anti-aliasing. It just looks so much better. And uh, there are even better ways to get a, a nice smooth edge and that's in the Refine Edge dialog box and we're going to talk about that in the very next lesson.